Just to recap for everyone, our words were session, canvas, vegetable, swipe, and grind. We have this murderous tale, something reminiscent of Squid Games, but vegetable slow. But without further ado, we'll go ahead and start reading our outline here. We start off on a beautiful, pleasant day in the city with Miss Broccoli, who's home on her phone looking at Red Onion. Red Onion is similar to a tinder in this world. She's swiping past options, which are other vegetables, and she ends up matching with Mr. Chili. They spend all day and night talking all the time even while they're at work and while they should be asleep while they're with their family they're building a relationship but they haven't seen each other in person yet then one day miss broccoli's best friend avocado tells broccoli she's planning an escape room adventure with some friends so that way they can connect more and that she should come broccoli asks if she can bring her new date chili pepper and others will show up like hot tomato of course avocado says sure he can go chili pepper obviously agrees to go on this first date and there's nothing but excitement and anticipation in the air on this on the day that they go to the escape room everyone's in good spirits meeting each other for the first time avocado is bringing her date carrot cabbage is dating tomato everyone's getting to know each other nothing but smiles all around they go inside and they are met by a cute guinea pig who seems to be just a worker that welcomes them to the escape room building and tells them that they signed up for the squid game themed room. At this time, the other couples are met by four other participants who are also coupled up. Everyone's excited to get into the room. As they get into the room, the guinea pig takes them into the room and tells them the instructions. She explains the point system and tells them they have to put a collar on their neck that tracks their progress in the game. The collars will be linked to one another via color, just so they know who they're matched with, but the collars may change colors during the game, so pay attention. Okay, they are now in the room, smiling, giddy, waiting for the timer to begin at the top of the door and for the game to start. They stand next to their partners, which is also indicated by the color of their collar. All of a sudden, the beeper goes off. The timer begins. The countdown begins. One of the pairs goes up to the door, which has a monitor up overhead. The monitor switches on and tells the color green to step forward. They are given a question with multiple choices, and if they are correct, they can pass through the door. If they are correct, but the key will also drop down. And this pairing decides that they all need to get a lot of points. They try answering the question the first time, but get shocked because they were wrong. They think it's cute or funny. Turn around, tell them they got shocked. Everyone seems still to be in good spirits. They go ahead and answer the question correctly. A key drops down. They take the key, open the door, and they are free to move on. Kevin, if you want to take it from this point. Okay, so the second pair goes up to the screen. This is the blue collars. So they get a question, or they get choices for questions. Each question has a point reward attached to it. So because they think they're all that, they choose the hardest question. It's a math question. And the question is, using only eights, add eights until you get to the number a thousand. So obviously they think they're smart. They think they have the right answer. They come up with their answer. They're confident in it. They submit it. Eh. A big X crosses the screen and they don't feel a shock. Instead, they feel a sudden burst of pain and their heads explode. Their veggie juices are splattered across the room while the other pairings are looking in horror. Now they realize the consequences and the severity of this game. It's no longer a game. So the others go up, pick a question. They try to aim for lower point questions and they get it right. So they move on to the next room. The screen drops down. Mr. Guinea Pig is on the screen again. He explains the rules to the second room. He says, there's four of you now. It's based on the points that you accumulated from the previous room, you'll have to participate in one of two games. The two lowest point scores, which include avocado and carrot, and the other random pairing, since they chose the easiest questions and got them right, you will both now have to play a game of deadly tug of war. The other two pairings, since you have a higher scored questions from the previous room, you get to flip a coin. If you call it right once on either flip, you can pass on to the next room. So tomato and cabbage, they start their flip. They each got to choose one. So if tomato says tails never fails, flips it, comes up heads. Cabbage says heads always shreds, flips it, it comes up tails. And that is when tomato and cabbage are terminated immediately. Now, chili pepper, he says heads never shreds. Coin gets flipped, comes up tails. Now broccoli, what does she choose? She also goes heads, coin gets flipped, lands, and it's heads, so they get to pass. Meanwhile, avocado and carrot versus the two random veggies on the other end. They're both on the edge of two platforms. There's a grinder running in between them. So whoever wins this game of tug of war survives while the other two gets grinded into a smoothie like this. 
So the game begins, they're pulling back and forth, and then eventually Carrot and Avocado muster up the strength to pull the other veggies over the edge, and they watch in horror as the two veggies fall into the grinder and gets grinded into a pulp. A clapping sound, sound effect, echoes the room. Mr. Guinea Pig says, you passed. Now it's on to the next game. All right, you want to explain the next game, Dave? Okay, so in the next room, the monitor turns on. And you see the guinea pig painting a picture on a canvas of the random deaths into the soup. The guinea pig tells them the rules of this game, which is whoever can hold on to the olive the longest wins. However, there is a five minute clock that they need to hold on to this olive. It only seems like five minutes, but this will be the longest five minutes of these vegetables' lives. They will begin at the edge of the room, they'll make their way to the middle, and swipe the olive, and the game will begin. At that exact moment, as they reach the middle of the room and swipe for the olive, weapons drop down from the ceiling. Everything from machetes to maces, bows and arrows, spears, samurai swords, all from the ceiling. Avocado and carrot end up getting killed by their best friend, Broccoli and Chili Pepper. You know Chili Pepper's new, but Broccoli kills Avocado. Heart-wrenching stuff. Broccoli has the will to survive. They think they have won. They think they are done and over, and both of them will be able to walk out. They reach the door, they open the door, and in the middle of this room, with lights shining down directly on it, innocently enough, they see a checkerboard and two chairs. They get to the checkerboard, and as they look upon the checkerboard, they see that the pieces are live, smaller vegetables. The monitor turns on and tells them they will need to play against each other in a game of checkers. Winner survives. Guinea pig loves what it's seeing, licking its lips, all the best carnage it has seen throughout this day. Broccoli ends up winning this game. She's missing pieces of her body, but has survived long enough. She reaches for the last door, and as she opens it, under applause awaits her. Walks into the room bewildered. Why are so many others clapping for her in this room? Seemingly put together in nice clothes. They tell her that now that she's made it, she's getting all this reward money. One vegetable randomly walks over to her and shakes her hand and tells her she has just freed him from this hell. Confused, Broccoli asks why. I thought they were all free. And it's explained that the last and final game to make it out of this place is if your character, if the person you're betting on wins overall, and he That's has right. been betting on her the entire time, and now he gets to leave. And now he gets to bet on the next group coming in, starting the cycle all over again. Now Broccoli needs to choose her champion, and it ends by her patron, her better, taking off her Mardi Gras looking mask and giving it to her because she has effectively taken his place. And now she's not a participant, now she's an observer of the Red Onion games. <laughs> <laughs> the sick, sick story. Oh my god, that was that, hilarious. That is the end of our story with Session, Canvas, Vegetable, Swipe, and Grind. I don't know how we got that story out of that, but we did. That is the Red Onion. Oh. You heard it here, folks. That's right. That's right. And now, Kevin, since we told our story, it's time to see what AI generates. It's time to see what the AI spits out. That's right. And I am so curious. All right. So let me read this. So in the bustling vegetable market, a group of eager young vegetables were preparing for the annual Squid Game Tournament. The tournament was a fierce competition that tested the skills and speed of the participating vegetables as they tried to outmaneuver each other on the canvas and swipe their way to victory. Among the competitors was a determined young eggplant named Eggy, who had been practicing and grinding for months in preparation for the tournament. Eggy was determined to win but was convinced that this would be his year to shine as the tournament began the vegetables took the canvas with fierce determination eggy was off to a strong start making quick work of his opponents with his swift and agile moves he was in the lead and it seemed like nothing could stop him what are they playing but as the tournament progressed Things began to take a turn for the worse. Eggy's opponents were getting smarter and more strategic, and Eggy found himself struggling to keep up. Despite his best efforts, he began to fall behind, and it seemed as though his dreams of victory were slipping away. Desperate to catch up, Eggy began to take risks, pushing himself harder and harder in each session, but unfortunately, his determination was not enough. In a tragic twist of fate, Eggy suffered multiple deaths on the canvas, falling short of victory in the end. So Eggy has a superpower where I'm he can back come to back to life. Right. <laughs> As the tournament came to a close, the other vegetables gathered around Eggy, offering their condolences and support. Though he had fallen short of his goal, Eggy's bravery and determination had inspired them all, and they knew he would always be remembered as a true champion. I, I think it's safe to say right. our, yeah. our story will win. We keep our jobs. We beat AI. I'm curious what the audience thinks, though. Yeah, we keep our jobs for another day. 